Well, here we are in uh, Gallup, New Mexico. This is a touted, uh, they tout themselves as the most patriotic small town in America. 21,678 people. 20,000 potential traders, it seems like. Well, the Amber Alerts, as you come in New Mexico, says masks required in New Mexico. Locals can only have two people in the car at once. There it is. So apparently if you're a husband and wife with a little baby and you need to run to the store, you, you can't all three go together. Well, I'm just passing through here and uh, on my way to Colorado. I'm almost done with these type of videos. I don't care. It's unbelievable what they've done to America. Well... We're going to go in this Gilbert Ortega Speedway and find out if I can go in here and get some gas without a mask. No gas? No mask? No gas. You know what they say, you treated badly, wipe the dust from your feet, move on, it be better than Judgment Day for... Sodom and Gomorrah. And for certain towns like this. Beautiful out here. I was standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, but I didn't have a mask, so the girl drove by me, speeding up uh, in an extended cab Ford to get away from me because I didn't have a mask. She didn't even ask. I had these denim shorts. She said, that won't work. You need Teflon pants or I won't give you a second glance. And so I'm, you know, I'm like, what is this where people can't even drive around with three people in the car in a town? What's really going on? I'm going to go down here to the hospital. I don't think it's that overwhelmed and overran as they're telling us on TV. I came from California. Oh, yeah. I don't think it is. Yeah. No. But they're mandating the mask. Are people getting, like, tickets and stuff if they don't? Oh, yeah. This is from my own YouTube channel. They're getting tickets for not wearing masks mm -hmm. or having three people in the car. And they tout, the sign touts, this is the most patriotic little town in America. Yeah. Where are the patriots? <laughs> yeah. In New England? Oh, Lord Jesus. I heard that they were saying that they're going to uh, give you a ticket even though if you don't wear your mask that started yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, seven. $700 ticket, they're going to put a lot of people homeless that way, right? Yeah. Walk around with a mask, hit a Ford 7. They have curfew. Curfew? Yeah, from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. 8 o'clock at night, curfew. Yeah. Were you out past 8? You want to go hang out at 9 o'clock tonight <laughs> with me? Break yeah. curfew? I was at my home. You were home? Yeah. Have you been to the hospital? I don't have to. <laughs> no. They won't let people go visit? I'm making a YouTube video. I want to go down to the hospital and see, because all I've heard in the news is that everybody... Is this town's overwhelmed? But do you personally know anybody that knows anybody that has the virus yet, or could it be? Like, I did. You had the virus? Mm -hmm. What was it like? The flu? It was my breathing, my breathing, headache, my, nose, my body temps. There flu, flu symptoms too. Yeah. Did you get tested for it? Yeah, they told me I was positive. And then what? Yeah, you got to go quarantine. Me, they just told me to go home and isolate yourself. Oh, really? You did that for two weeks? Was there, Were they monitoring you? Uh, no, no. They, so never, you, they never contacted are you, me or anything. Are you 100% sure it is the virus? Because maybe the American government and the media is contriving a lot of this, overblowing oh, yeah. it. Yeah. I, that's what I was thinking, you know. That, um, it was more like a, a common cold flu. Yeah. But it was, I didn't really cough or anything like that. I just had a nose. Yeah, runny nose. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think this is uh, hyped up to control people, put people in fear. And then one of my coworkers, she, she said, they told her she had it, but she didn't have no symptoms. No symptoms, but yeah. she's got it. So she's yeah. she's a statistic now. Well, I'll tell you what. we got to start believing and trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. right? Yeah. God Almighty Father, because... Hey, here's another guy without a mask. Give me this one. I just snapped. I left home without it. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. And I won't put on one of those ritualistic masks anyway because I'm not really adhering to anything the government wants to tell me to do. So I, I'm on my way from California to Colorado. I stopped in here. 
just to deliberately come in here and not wear a mask. Are you listening to the government guidelines and walking a fine line? Because you know who put the blue tape in here? The United Nations blue helmets. And if they're yellow, it's the health official yellow bellies. <laughs> the red ones are from the commies. <laughs> You can uh, go, I'm man. Okay. You want to um, do? Uh, can people get together in this town, like six people, and hang out, or the cops will come, like break up the party, like usual? Um, I'm not sure. I still see them. There's a lot of people that walk, walk around, around and disobeying and, uh, everything. Okay, good. Yeah. I think that's what we need to do: is start just being free spirits, you know? Yeah, I mean, look at the source too. Everyone still goes yeah. out. I mean, when you catch it. Go back to our roots, where people would climb the mountain and get dirt and desert dust all over their mouths, and that would build their immunity up naturally, <laughs> without the government coming well, around. If we reach herd immunity, then everything's good. Everyone's that's what they want. It. Yeah. Everyone's immune to it. Everyone's oh yeah, I don't even believe it's real. <laughs> but the herd immunity is. Uh, Quite, quite an example use that because they have cages we walk into now like cattle <laughs> and we're all a bunch of herd well, that's what, they what want. my dad compared it to was um pink floyd another brick in the wall another <laughs> brick in the wall that's uh, right we need to put our back up against the wall because these people are just another brick in it <laughs> well i say trust in the lord jesus it's sunday let's worship and praise god almighty in here in gallup new mexico Three of us together in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. May all cultures and people come to you, Father, the great creator and your Holy Spirit, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Here we are in Gallup. The only mask we got on is the whole armor of God.